what's up my people how on a day waiting they happen within this up guys today's video is sponsored by tunde learning on foods and that reminds me remember during the seller period i said i was going to give out my the package tunde learning was sent to me for promo or adverts i said i was going to give it out to a fan right that fan is Trace Richards, and Trace Richards made a video, you know, after that. I wasn't even expecting that, but he made the video anyways. All right, all right, uh, Advancing Crown, thank you very, very much. We actually got all your package, okay? We have um, Dodo Ichira, Dodo Ichira. All these things are actually coming from Sunday Lally Raw Foods, okay? You can actually order. They actually do stuff, okay, and well packed. We got the moringa seeds, and we got um, the well sealed and fat gari, and we also got the fat, um, the sachets in bulk, and um, the size of king's um, oil. Okay, at um, Lesson Crown, we're doing this actually, I appreciate you. This is a gift from you, and we owe you that credit, okay? Thank you very, very much. We want you all day, okay? And at least this is a, a token for our data. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Uh, to the line on foods, you did so well. Okay. We recommend it to anybody. All right. Thank you very, very much. What are the items? Admissive crown. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, so he stays in Abuja, actually. All right. Um, in today's news, we've got Gis Lover. Yes. Uh, let us start off with this one and Yule Doche's second wife, Judy. She actually released a video ranting seriously in that video. Wait, is this another movie? I just want to know, is this another content? You might be acting because I don't even know whether to take this lady seriously or not. But, both of them, like herself and Yule Doche, but let's first talk about Gislova. She mentioned Gislova. She said, why would you listen to faceless blogs and all that? You know, I'm not really a fan of Gislova, but there's some things that Gislova have put out there that, uh, you know, turned out to be true. Others, you know, it's hard to even believe and we ne it was never verified. Went on like that for a long time and never confirmed or verified. And that will come after this particular uh, news. Yes, she's got a point about not listening to, you know, a faceless blogger, stuff like that. But at the same time, I don't think people are, are reacting based on what Gislava told them. I think people are reacting more based on what they are seeing on social media between both of them. And honestly, these are the things that I, my, myself as a blogger, right? These are the things that I see. And most of you know my stand. This whole thing concerning Yule Doce and the wife, they are the ones who brought it, you know, to, to our faces, right? That's number one. Number two is I'm not really a fan of both of them, what they are doing, or the whole thing about them, the, the whole the way they are going about things. I'm not a fan which i've expressed here we all have our opinions we're going to watch the video by the way i'm going to watch it with you guys and the reason why i also uh, chip that in about gislova is because of the you know anti you and anti i that we are yet to verify that's concerning rita dominic so that news is going to come after this by the way rita dominic just celebrated um a 40th birthday which was posted on her friends pages on social media I think it was in Niedo that uh, posted a video. But yeah, we're going to watch that. But first of all, oh, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> but first of all, let us talk about this new report, this video that was uh, posted online by Julie Deutsch's second wife. And trust me, I don't... <laughs> I don't believe this. I think she's acting. I think, you know, I just think everything is acting now. I don't take them seriously anymore, but but let's watch anyways. I said I've had enough of all this nonsense going on on social media. I mean, what is it? What are you doing? Every day you come out insults. What nonsense? Are you going to tell me how to live my life? No, I'm asking a question. Are you people going to tell me how to live the decisions to make for myself are you going to tell a grown-up man are you going to tell you how to live his life somebody for 41 years for goodness sake 
What nonsense? I've had it. I've had enough of all this rubbish. <laughs> Wait, somebody says here. Yeah. Um, I'm believing this is another series on keeping up with <laughs> a Let's continue. Okay, just about that. He, she will just or he, whoever the faceless blogger is, will make a stupid post, spreading lies upon lies about people, unverified posts, unverified information. And then you, you, are you, is that how, is that how you, you, is that how gullible people are? No, really, is that how gullible people are that everything you hear, you swallow? Who then wins the common sense? Or they, they, don't three people have common sense anymore? Who then wins the common sense? Are you not using your God-given brain anymore? Anything, just so that they are calling us, yeah, just, a, what nonsense? What nonsense, I'm asking, what rubbish? And you will come and tell me how to live my life? You tell me the decision to make for myself, something that I feel like, oh, this is what I want to do. Am I, have you seen me the person how you live your life for you? Have you seen me telling you do this or do that? Do I judge you? What nonsense? Then you say you listen to stupid faceless blogger, then you come to my page or you go to those states, come and type nonsense, you away for. Uh, that's cool though. Even while she's ranting, she remember the guy's um the, the is it the pet name or nickname? Odogu still remember that's that's sweet and loving though yeah i've had it do you hear me i said enough the fact that i've been silent all this while does not mean that i don't know what to say the fact that for the past what was she really silent like i we we could see this in public space like <laughs> you you keep putting those things out there so you're not silent definitely this is this is another skit trust me <laughs> I don't believe a thing that she's saying. She's just, I mean, doing this definitely using to trend and yeah. One year that I've not responded to any of you, that I've not responded to just love that have not that I've not said anything does not mean the memory hang But at this point, I've had it. I've had it. What rubbish. You see people acting as if they are Virgin Mary. Are you Jesus? Are you our blessed Virgin Mary? Are you Jesus? What right do you have? No, seriously. I mean, she's right here. Like, what right do you have to even say anything? But what you put in the public space yourself is up for judgment automatically. Automatically. Except somebody somewhere release it without your consent. That's different, though. But what, what we're seeing on social media and all is just up for, <laughs> for debate and judgment. Well... That's not saying that she's not right, though, what she said here. Yeah. Ibuchuku. Una Ibuchuku. What right do you have to judge me? Simply because every owner put them, somebody will come out and say their own, and then all that will be gingering them out. Then you think it, it gives you the right. It gives you the right to insult somebody that you don't know for complete one year and, and continue doing it. Jesus. Are you not, are you guys not okay? Uh, are you okay? Are you guys okay upstairs? Uh, are you okay? No, really, are you guys okay? How do you come out every day? What you do every day is to insult somebody and I insult you again. And then you think you're normal. You're not normal. Enough of it. Osugo, enough of it. Enough of the insults. Oh, enough. You can't carry on verified gists and be running around town claiming to know. You don't know anything. Only him. You're only operating based on the information and you and if you, if the other name are in, I mean, you won't, you won't carry half bit information. That's not how things are done. And at this, I mean, let's, let's make this seem like it's, <laughs> it's real. L let me pretend like I'm, I'm taking her seriously. Uh, <laughs> um, so she said unverified, unverified, unverified. What was the unverified stuff? Yeah. The unverified stuff was about, um, uh, what's that guy's name? Our uh, ex-husband or Bino or Obiaino. Is he Obaino? I don't know what I, I will have to let me quickly check the internet. I have to get it right. Judy's ex husband. Oh, uh, what's his name? Judy's ex husband's name. Obasi. So his name is Emmanuel Obasi, right? So Emmanuel Obasi. Um, yeah, just love has said something about this guy. Was this lover the first blog to post that? 
has said that she's got kids with another man and there was this unverified report that that child does not belong to Yule Doche. The child was got with Yule Doche that Yule Doche needs to do a DNA test, which really I didn't, I mean, since it's not verified, I didn't really take it seriously with a pinch of salt. But the most important thing here that a lot of people are actually talking about is what they are saying, what these people are doing, both of them and um, Peter Doche's family, the brother, everybody not supporting this. And this this thing is messy. At the time Yule Doche introduced this, ladies to, this lady to us, Yule Doche kept defending himself, kept releasing videos, kept talking about, you know, justifying everything without being questioned. So there's a lot of reasons why people are talking about it. Not really what Gislovat posted on social media. For those of you in the US, Tunde Lanera is now available on Amazon, right? I'm going to leave the links in the comment section. Now, alternatively, eh, you can call the number on the screen and a distributor will attend to you because they now have a distributor even in the US. I'm going to leave the links in the comment section below just in case you don't, you can't find what you're looking for on amazon now there's a website for that and they've got an email for that which i'm going to put here and also in the comment section don't forget the main website is tundelaneroffarms.com now the reason why you need tundelanero in your life wait let me rephrase the reason why tundelanero is very important for you is because number one their packaging is so great well packaged you can even give it out as gifts and that's why they have gift cards too which brings us to number two gift cards if you really want to get something for your loved ones but you're just confused tundelanero is good for that because you can easily buy their gift cards and give to your loved ones so that they can go on that website and order whatever they want on the website number three is their product taste good i've tried it myself and mo i mean most of you know about that so the sweetest part of this is the 50 percent shipping discount the shipping discount code is mixing crown so take advantage of this while it lasts let's continue explains me i've had it okay i am going to start exposing everybody involved in this what i will say the information i'm going to release eh the most people don't even you people don't even know anything you think you do but you don't actually know anything and it is time because me i've had it everybody's just keeping silence and then they say i heard the same corner people are just looking to say hey let's see the drive that this over will drive judy or yule enough of it i am going to start exposing everybody okay for that kind of one all at everybody if for that bees, okay, why are you telling it to it to swallow all of us this time around? Because if you're implicated in it, enjoy it. If he, if I implicate you, enjoy it. If anything I'm going to say and you This obviously is skit. Find your it's trouble that appear the well here and take it. Since all of us are acting Jesus, I ain't telling you know, we are all saints. Everybody is is you know holier than thou enough i'm going to expose everybody i'm coming on life yes i said i'm coming on life come with your questions because i've had it up to here Ozuko, i've had it i'm going to expose every single one of you whatever it is you need me to address i will address it but my point is that enough of the insults so that by the time i'm done with this life then somebody again only God knows what will happen. Only God knows. I'm coming on live on you, Leduce's Facebook verified page. I'm coming on live on his verified page on, on, on Facebook. Come tomorrow by 8 p.m. Come tomorrow by 8 p.m. And I will expose every single one of you. All the holier than thou. All the all the Chineke people. All the people acting as if. Ah, we are Virgin Mary. We have not done it. Ah, that girl, she's very stupid. Let's destroy her. Everybody, I will expose all of you. All the lesbians in their husband's house, I will expose every single one of you. All the pimps. Away from the industry. All the pimps 
in their husband's house, pimping my married women, my single women, to married men, all of you get exposed, every single one of you. Because all of you have been parading like your old Jesus and saints. Hey, Judy, hey, that girl is demon. Hey, you, Lizzie, Osuko. Do you people know how I met you? No, do you people know how I met you? Only if you my, you people don't know anything. A 40-year-old man will wake up and make a decision about his own life that you people don't know why he took that decision. And then you will come out to, to insult him. You will come out to say what you don't know. You come out to open your mouth. Interesting. You come out to open your mouth to challenge him on a decision that he took for his own life. Do you people know why he made the decision? <laughs> what I'm going to expose, what I'm going to say tomorrow, Will shock everybody. I have shocked the world because I've had it. Those go the insult I did enough, enough of it, hmm? enough of the lies. Just about will wake up and be destroying people's family. when you you will be gingering the just over on because it's not you. You're gingering the just hey yes, destroy them. Let us know because it's not you. Don't worry. One day it will get to your turn. And the same Jesus will destroy your name and you cannot say anything because he's so in a ginger when he, the, the, the first place blogger was doing it to another person. Because uh, celebrities are not human beings. We don't, we, they are not human beings. We don't have the same blood on our veins. Yeah? I'm going to expose a whole lot tomorrow. By 8 p.m., come to you, the Duchess Facebook verified page. By 8 p.m., come with whatever question you think you have. Biangazia. But what I'm going to say tomorrow, the, the, the gist, the main gist, inside the gist that I'm going to release tomorrow will shock you. Oh, that shock woman I'm telling you. And at this point, I've had it. I've had it. Enough of the silence. I've had it. Enough of the silence. I've had it. Okay? Thank you. See you people tomorrow by 8 p.m. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's it guys. Look, on this matter, on this matter, people still fight themselves on social media. Like they legit fight themselves on social media. On this matter. I remember the other day, someone said herself and her husband got into a serious argument about Davido and Choma, and now their marriage is shaky because of that. Because that caused a serious problem <laughs> in their marriage. Just arguing about Davido and Choma, whose news is on social media, and that news, because you guys are arguing about it, is affecting your marriage now like your marriage is shaky your husband is about to divorce you or you are the one who wants to divorce your husband like what where did we get it wrong to the extent that it's affecting that issue on social media that unreal world is affecting your marriage other people's issues let us listen to this woman to go back to you, Ledoche, you're busy supposing men to leave her husband. Meanwhile, you're all the same that what I know now. Check now. In a problem, look at my personal marriage in Dodo. Every day you're calling me talk about broken marriage. Who check now? You're supposing men to, to leave her husband. Meanwhile, you hold your own tight. Your husband is in is in somewhere with another woman. You are here in Nigeria. You are supporting broken marriages. Every time you call me to ask about my marriage, you want to know whether my own is broken or not. Look at how you're pushing me. You're making her to look classy. Meanwhile, your own marriage is in, is in tattoo nana. Meanwhile, your own marriage is in tattoo nana. You're pushing me to leave her marriage. I was not fighting for me to leave her marriage. I was only telling you, you let don't you not to hurt me. But you're busy pushing me. Instead of you to advise me to go back to you, let don't you? You love both them. Both of them is the two one you mean. Both is the one I have won. You are busy pushing me. Let me tell you, Chenanda, you are you are born marketo. Go punish that your envious spirit. You are so envious. Your time for us to start. Uh, Man, 
let me tell you something. Don't check that nice deceiving you. Her own marriage is intact. If you like, listen to me, man. If you like, don't go back to you, they don't share. He's not the only man that I've married two wives. I have my personal issue with you. My personal issue. Okay, guys, um, I stumbled on this video uh recently vita dominic celebrating her birthday she marked her 48th birthday celebration with her friends and the husband again <laughs> the memory just lover last year said that uh, you know auntie you and auntie i were sleeping with fidelisa nosiki who's rita dominic's husband i mean they just got married uh, just lover claimed that this people even came to that wedding so people started suspecting rita dominic's friends that their name starts with you and i and the first person was uche jumbo in fact uche jumbo actually reacted to that saying just lover call your people to order my comment section is blowing up that it's uh, is that serious right until date you know just lover is yet to say anything about it yet to reveal the names of these people the, the full names and stuff like that i am of the opinion that you know just lover did that to get attention to our page because because i think at the time um instagram had blocked their account so probably they need more attention or maybe they are saying the truth which i doubt but seeing all of them again in near do and they, they suspect that the eye is in here do you know you understand the puzzle put out a puzzle out there for people to decipher or figure out which is still like very very difficult now seeing all of them together again here in Edo was there like our friends you know Chioma Potake Tensho all of them were there to celebrate a birthday with her even the husband was there and I think I, I saw just one comment and immediately I was like okay I'm going to talk about this just to remind you guys that we're yet to see uh the auntie i and auntie you that just lover mentioned and just lover themselves they are yet they, they didn't even say anything about it you see there's just something about this just lovers page and if you notice this i think it's also the followers fault i remember there was this thing that you know just lover said about someone and a lot of people were totally against this lover they felt like just lover is bitter and i think it's it's because this lover talked about you know their favorite so it got on a lot of people's nerves and they started discrediting most of the things that you know this lover said and i'm just thinking like but these were the same people who were rejoicing over other people's um misfortune and it just occurred to me maybe this lover is not really the toxic person it's the followers you know i'm a blogger right i mean i follow this lover sometimes i even you know mention some of the reports that they say or put out there but i just think people are happy when the joke is not on them or their favorite and it's just crazy how the human mind is is built in our society today i mean there's even a quote that says you know it's interesting and fun to watch a madman until you know you realize that that madman is your family member that's when it becomes no joke what do you think about i mean this whole thing and uh, to date you know we there's no sign of anti you and anti i and to date even though just lover promised to reveal it it's yet to reveal it rita dominic herself just celebrated you know or marked a 48th birthday uh, celebration and still no words even her husband was there I want to add to that. I think people right now are beginning to like, you know, question Gislova a lot. I think right now Gislova um called out Angela Angela Okori. And guess what? So many people in the comment section were like, What's really going on? Why are you saying this to her? Why are you saying it wasn't their usual reaction? Now they're like, why would you call her? Why would you abuse her? Why would you curse her? Why would you? But just have been doing this before. They are all cool with it. It's more like a toxic environment, isn't it? Let's move on to the next one. Here we have um, a young guy who was killed in Enugu. They call him Enugu Counselor. Was shot dead by unknown gunmen, as usual, in the eastern part of Nigeria. And my question has always been, what is really going on in the eastern part of Nigeria? What is going on? Imo State, Enugu, Anambra, 
government shooting and killing people this guy is obviously a young guy even a young guy and there's this thing you know on social media that people have been talking about you know a lot of people what are the the celebrities from the eastern part of nigeria what are they doing why can't they come on social media and talk about what is happening in the eastern part of nigeria you see i hope you guys understand that these people too they are human beings they are not robots you know they have blood running through their veins they also have to be careful and they have families who love them they also got to be careful about what they say or put out there on social media and i think people too need to understand that let's say we have good governments i mean they would have tried to intervene and try to curb that but it's not even happening do you think the government don't know what is happening in the eastern part of Nigeria? It's just sad to see some of these things. And moving on to the next one. This happened at Fadi Bar 38 Club. Yeah. Look, I've got a friend that stays in that area. So let me read this and I'll tell you what my source told me about what actually happened. Some of the things that, you know, my source said tallies with this. Some of it but others let me read anyways wanted wanted shot and killed my friend yesterday in bar 38 for the his name is trev uh trev boy is armed and dangerous wherever you are trev boy you will pay the price any information about him will be appreciated kindly retweet and the police um react saying we commenced investigation minutes after the incident happened the suspect abandoned his car and fled on foot Abandoning scam fled on foot. Let me finish this. The car and the documents in it are in our custody. Investigation is going on. But here's what my friend said. He said this guy's father, that Trev boy, the father is a soldier, right? So this guy's got access to weapon. He's always armed, you know. And number two is you know they said he abandoned his car and left what my source said is he didn't abandon his car he left with his car it is the victim's car the police came to pick up and the victim's body not the guy in fact they said the guy um drove into a store by mistake while trying to run away with his car he destroyed somebody's store and drove off oh hey guys that is where i'm going to hold it thank you so much for watching uh guys like this video subscribe so we'll see you next time peace